So everybody, it's Gosling from Orf. Welcome to another video of us. Yeah. <laughs> we're uh, back after a long, long wait. We're, we're back after a lot of studying, school, work. <laughs> so we finally have time to make videos. Okay, we're gonna say a post this. Uh, Happy New Year and Merry Christmas after a long, long time. Yeah. <laughs> First video of 2016. Yeah. And we're finally back. Okay, we're gonna do. We had a Easter tournament today and we're gonna do a sixth place uh, deck profile. Of my updated, very updated Burning Abyss deck. Com compared to the one we put up, it wasn't that good. It was a bit inconsistent, it was more like more decks in one. Now it's just one deck, one my Burning Abyss reforged. So if you want to watch the second, uh, the last video we did with the Burning Abyss, we can now have a link in the description or annotation here on the screen. Yeah. So, so let's go into the main deck first. For starters, I'm playing the one graph. I would play him on three if I could, since he got put onto one during the ban list. He is effective, so you can special on me if you don't have any back row, and if he, if he sends to grab, you can special on me burning a bit monster from the deck. I'm playing the double seer, he also went on two, I would also play three if I could there. Uh, his effect is uh, that he can special summon a burning a bit monster from the deck. He can spend any burning a monster from the deck except the fusion. Okay. And I'm playing the yeah. triple scorn. Skarm is still on free. He's still on free, and he's your he's your search engine engine in this deck. So you search out your tour guide mostly first, and if needed, you, you can search out other burning abyss monsters that's needed for for your next turn. Okay. I'm playing the double Kagna. I'm actually planning to, to get one more Kagna in this deck because he replaces your graphs. Because you can send down Traveler and Good and Evil, to, and then it's broken. Then, then you can fetch it back to your hand with Dante and, and use them. Okay. I'm playing the one Rubik. I used to play him on two, but uh, it was a bit inconsistent, so I put him back to one. He's, he's pretty good at one. So, because you can recycle him with Seer and uh, Synchro Summon several versions, versions with him. Double Farfa. Uh, he is very good at two. He's too, he's too much at the uh, three and too little too little at one. He banishes uh, your opponent's monsters until the end phase. Double Kelcab. Cal -cab. I'm planning to bring out one more Kelcab for another Kagna. He bounces your, your opponent's back row. This card has saved saved me through the fluffle matchup I had. Mostly. Double Libic. I mainly play Libic only for my Mathematician combo. Because you Mathematician throw him to the grave, especially on a guy from your hand, and the effect is negated, you go to Dante. That's the only way I'm using Libic. Unless I'm using from, from any other combos, which there are almost none. The one Barbar. Barbar uh, wins your games. <laughs> How does he win? He, he wins your games. Because if your opponent sits at nine, less than 1000 life points, you can ask, okay, he goes to the graveyard, banish three cards, burn you for, for, for 900 game. Okay. He, he wins your games when your opponent has a little, little life points left. The non burning abyss monster, I'm playing the one tour guide. Yeah, it's, it's tour guide. It's really good. It's special, say, fiend from your deck, and the face is negated. The old DC uses is to go into Dante. If you open Tour Guide, you are pretty well set for a game. And the one mathematician to score off the Libby combo. I'm playing double finish Rhino. I don't understand this card. This card I, is broken. It's the first time I saw it today in the tournament. Just like, finish Rhino? What the hell? What's that card? This card is broken. Okay. Yeah, this was worth. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send another Fiend monster from your, from your deck to your graveyard. So you can scroll off any damn Burning Abyss monsters you will. And if you have a Burning Abyss monster on the field, you know, if they if you play a monster that's not a Burning Abyss, they die. Mm -hmm. If they play this card, they don't die, because he prevents uh, uh, other Fiends to get destroyed by, by effects. Oh, so every Burning Abyss is a Fiend. Yeah, they, they, can, they can't die on, well, by battle or by card effects. So you can spec, 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 spec. You can just go, mm -hmm. you can summon, your guys don't die, then you can do what the hell you want. Then you can just XC into your Dante and, and everything. Oh, okay. that's cool. So I'm playing it too. I tried it at 3. But I can't fit 3, <laughs> really. So I'm gonna try to bump him up to bump him up to three again because he's broken. <laughs> I, I noticed that today. Uh, I'm playing double Valor. I don't know how to play Valor. Yeah, you don't I, know how to play. I, 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 I noticed that in return. I misplayed Valor the, the so reason, many times. The, the reason I played Valor here, I always play him now, since 
he's good. He's actually, it's actually a really good, good card Veiler in Burning Abyss. I used to pl play, I, I didn't use Veiler before. Then I realized th that this card is really good <laughs> in, in this deck. And last match I'm playing the one BLS. Uh, oh, the, the, oh, no, no, now it's a bit more obvious why I play Veilers yeah. here in this deck. Uh, BLS is I, awesome. BLS is an awesome card. I didn't play BLS in my last deck. And I didn't know why I did this. I didn't do that because if you sit sitting at like several Dantes, you can just yeah. be less. I'm out of the game. <laughs> yeah, Simon said he had to play be less. Yeah, like, yeah, I know. Why do you not play be less? I didn't think it was good at first. Yeah, at yeah. the moment, uh, trap cards. I'm playing three fire lakes. Fire lakes. Um, I'm, I'm gonna bump. I'm gonna bump this the fire lakes down to two for a, a third twin twister. Uh, so really? Yeah, I'm gonna bump it down because three is a bit much. You, you, because you can recycle them back with Dante from a graveyard. Because I was sitting and clogging these cards in my hand uh, often. And I'm playing Double Traveler. I will get one more Traveler in this deck. Tra because Traveler is broken. Because if you have a fulfilled in Dark Hole and face I activate Traveler, all your guys comes, comes back. So that, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna go out to free. And I'm this card traps, I'm playing the one PvB. PvB is really good. This card has saved me during the hero, hero matchup a lot, it, but it not stole the game because I lost the damn game because of Dark Law. Oh, dark, I hate Dark Law. Well, dark Law is broken. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing the tri Triple Divine Wrath. Divine Wrath! People say that this is overkill, playing free. Uh, I think also, maybe, yeah. But, uh, you but, uh, but you know how I, I won my Fluff matchup and my Old Eyes matchup because of this card. Because you used three? I activated maybe two at, at the game, but... I can stand through, but three is... Yeah, yeah, but, but it, you mill these cards but, off them, yeah, that's, that's the problem with it. Uh, but because it's a Burning Abyss, you, you, mill you want it. to discard a card. Yeah, so. you want to do this. And three is good. It's really good. Yeah. I'm gonna always st stick, it, stick it to three. I'm maybe gonna pick up one for another PvP. And last two, last two cards. Double Breakthrough skill. Breakthrough! This card is awesome in Burning Mist because you can build it onto your, gra to your graveyard and use them from your graveyard. Mm. <laughs> that, that's why I love playing the Burning Mist skills. Staples. Yeah, they're, they're awesome. Yes. Uh, some yes. people, they like, people like to play this at one. I played that one, I tried, then I tried two. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> fine. And spells Double Twin Twister. I'm, like I said, I'm getting one more for the final. This card is crazy. I this card is broken. I I get destroyed by that card. That card destroys my back row every time. Uh, this, this card is broken. Yeah. Yes, you, you discard a card. I know. You, you discard a this burning card abyss monster. This card is going to get hit. This card is going to get hit. I promise yeah, you. Yeah, I, I want in this card to get hit. In, in, in this <laughs> ban list, it's gonna get banned or put that to one. But, but this card made burning abyss more 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 playable. One hundred percent, it's going to get hit. So I love this card. Everybody's playing it because they're the back row. That's gonna be here. And double uh, dark law. You float so freaking good with this card. Dark Law? Dark Hole? Dark Hole, sorry. <laughs> I was like, Dark Law? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you're floating so hard with this card. If you have fulfilled Dark Hole effects, yeah. you float so hard and then you use Traveler to get all, all you guys back. <laughs> this card is really good here. I sh I'm, th I'm thinking of picking up one for, our, for Raigeki, but we'll see. Oh, uh, Raigeki, yeah. It's, uh, you have and to. the one good in evil, I'm, obviously I'm sending this on with Kagna using its fetch to my hand. And last card is Foolish. This card, this card is every Burning Abyss monster in the deck that you wanted to be. Uh, you can play it in every deck that uh, yeah. needs one card in the graveyard. In the every card. Uh, Even in Busters you use it, you use being a Buster yeah. Blader through graveyard so you can use it. So Foolish, if this card was on free, I would be happy. If it goes on free, the will Oh be... shit. Dra dra uh, I think Dragons are back. <laughs> if it goes on free, Dragons will be back. Yeah. Burning uh, Abyss and Dragons. Yeah. Will e be back in... Extra Racky. Obviously, I'm playing the triple Dante. No, 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 no. don't play Dante. No, 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 no. I think it's fun. I, I've seen decks that actually play one Dante, but it's more control than the mind deck. The mind, the mind deck is. But uh, the D Dante, it's Dante. You, you, you have to play free if you want to play a good burning abyss deck. A good burning abyss deck, but uh, it works best that way. And he's look at it. He's so fucking sexy. <laughs> And I'm playing something that people rarely play. I'm playing the double Virgil. Vir Vir Virgil, what? Yeah, he, he discards a card and sends it and uh, shuffles it into to your opponent's your egg deck. But uh, people only play him at one because you can pick him up with Siri and everything. It, yeah, isn't Castell better? 
Yeah, but he's a synchro and he discard a card to shuffle in something. Mm -hmm. And he's in his 2500. Mm -hmm. And when he's destroyed, you get a draw card. Okay. And you can loop him with Seer. <laughs> uh, so th I think that's a bit crazy. Look at this. You know, Seer, he can pick up a Burning Abyss monster. Whichever one, he can pick up uh, Virgil. So I think that's crazy. Pretty cool. I, I won because of that. I'm in my fluffle matchup. <laughs> And I'm playing the triple downer. In my last uh, profile, I played uh, two down uh, two downers. Yeah, you but, got but, but now I'm playing playing three because I it's it floated so awesome. Uh, I just want this card because he's so cool. It's yeah. it's really a beautiful card. <laughs> this card this card is way way too good. Just yeah, watch it. yeah. Look at the difference on, on the gold and the secret. Because uh, the secrets are much cooler. Yeah, the secret and in, in the the shining in yeah how it shines it. Much but this card is awesome. Yeah, I, I don't think I have to have to explain why you play downer in this deck. It's awesome. You have to play it. Um, tell, tell us the effect. Yeah, I don't know the effect. The, this effect is you can during your main phase two, you can put this in, on any rank three, any rank three X Y C. So you just this is you 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 you, you, you sit with two Dante. You main phase two, you're like downward, downward. Then you have these two, and they get two hundred for each material on them, and they are piercing damage. So, so when and when they attack, they have to detach from the material after the battle is over. Then you have detached Dante, you get effect on Dante. Mm -hmm. So that, that's how you use, use them. So download, really good, you have to play it. Triple download. And I'm playing the one Utopic Future. This card. Uh, um, super, it's super broken against the, you know, I, when I played Heroes, against Heroes, I had the, I, I was gonna go, I, I went into to Utopic Future, because he, and he had a Dark Law on the field. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I'm gonna steal his Dark Claw and hit him. But unfortunately, he had a Solemn Warning on the field, so he took away this uh, card from me. Or else I would have won the game. Mm -hmm. I would have won the game if, if, if he didn't have that warning. And I'm playing the one Giga Brilliant. This card is, is, is really good. Because if you have a full, f if you have a field with XYZ in the field, you can detach one, pump them up with three, all with 300 attack. Using the pusher for game. And Nightmare Shark. This card wins the games. Like Barbar, it wins the games. So you can detach one material, target a water monster on the field, and attack directly. And here's a water monster. Okay. And I'm playing the one Owl card. Owl card is also awesome for handling set set monsters and set back row. He detaches one material to blow up a card. That's set. Up, that's set. And I'm playing the one make equipped, straight up defense here. You can detach one material, target one attack. Uh, position monster and switch to defense, and it cannot be destroyed by card effects and battle the turn. Because if your opponent wants to, you know, honor arc it, you can effect switch it. He, he can't take it. <laughs> so he wastes two material. Uh, yeah. And I'm playing the one side maze. He is awesome. You see, he's also sterile defense. You sit him within defense, he attacks, okay, detach, and face up low one of your cards. That's how awesome this side maze is. And last one I'm playing the one that, number 49, Fortune Tune. So you don't play Castell at all? I can't go into rank 4s. Oh, you can't. It's a burning abyss, you know. Only rank 3s go there. Ah, okay. Yeah. And the one Fortune Tune. Yeah, Fortune Tune, I'm picking, I'm gonna pick this up for an acid golem. So, because acid golem is a free, free K beater. Give me, give me it, give me it. Fortune Tune isn't that good, unfortunately. Look at the foil, it's so freaking beautiful. Yeah. But it's the fact is each each of uh, I think it's my standby phases. I get five hundred of the life points, and it can't be destroyed by you know card effects. So on each of your standby, yes. Each, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can detach one material to avoid a destruction from a card effect and battle. I think. Yeah, this is this is the deck. The burning abyss reforged deck. Reforged. So you can reforged. Yeah, I call it reforged because it's actually good now. <laughs> it's actually good. Okay. Yeah. And my do match. Have, my do you have anything uh, you want to add or? Yeah, my, my matchups. My matchups were against Fluffles, uh, Fluffles, Satellites, Heroes, and Old Eyes. I won against Fluffles and Old Eyes, but lost against the other two, unfortunately. So, and that. Uh, what's a good side if you want to side with this deck? A good side with this deck? Yeah. For the decks I faced, I sided mostly grab. I, I sided grab to mine. I used Gravity Mine because they all used uh, level 4 or higher. It's a troll card, I know, but mm -hmm. I, used, I used that. And I cited a lot of Majesty Fiends, Spell Cancellers, and uh, Stormworth. Oh. So yes, Tribute, guys, bring out Majesty Fiend. That's what I used decided. 
Oh, oh, cool. That's it. But thank you all for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe for more videos from us. And we're back after we're, a long wait. We we're, have, back, we're back, guys. We have more videos coming, uh, matches, deck profiles, maybe some Vanguard videos. But see you all next time and see you later. Bye. Okay. Bye bye.